the museum's Louisiana Memorial Pavilion, and we're standing in front of a Higgins boat. Andy, we have a question today. How were these Higgins boats different from regular boats? The design of the Higgins boat was certainly unique. Andrew Higgins, the, the owner of Higgins Industry, built boats used in the swamps and marshes here in South Louisiana. His civilian boat was called the Eureka. It was a shallow bottom boat with a unique propeller that allowed the boat to operate in shallow water. Higgins modified this design to carry soldiers and jeeps to land on enemy beaches. Notice that the front of this boat is a ramp and it could be lowered to unload troops and vehicles directly onto the shore. And that's why this boat is called an LCVP, which stands for Landing Craft Vehicle Personnel. The ramp of this boat made it unique and highly effective. And are these Higgins boats why the National World War II Museum is located in New Orleans? Yes. Higgins boats were built and tested right here in New Orleans. They were used in every major amphibious operation, including D-Day in Normandy. In fact, Eisenhower said years later that Andrew Higgins won the war for us.